boys and girls, I hope you're all doing well, long time no see, and I hope you're all okay. My apologies for being away for so long, I just needed some time out. I've been so tired lately, really, really tired, and I just haven't had the energy to do much since I get home from work, so I've just taken some time out, hopefully you'll understand but without further ado, let's get down to feeding this beautiful Acanthoscoria geniculata. Now, you might remember a while back from one of my videos, this was the one that originally had the burnt bottom. And she's doing absolutely well. She is such an adorable spider. She is so lovely. So, And I know she's going to be hungry, so here we go. Let's see how she gets on. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Nom time. I've actually named her Georgie. Georgie the Acanthus geniculata. I think it suits her well. She's just going to sit there, I think, for a while. So we'll move on to the next. Now we have here the Epivopus murinus. Um, this one's quite an aggressive species. It's a new world, but it's not a happy new world. So uh, let's see how we get on with this one. Oh, she likes that one. Unfortunately, over the past couple of months, I've lost a few tarantulas as well, as in they've died, not I've mislaid them. Um, the green bottle bl blue mature male I had, he died last week. Um, and I was absolutely gutted. Big Bertha, the king baboon female I had, she died about a month ago. And I have no idea why. One minute she was absolutely fine. And the next she next couple of days after checking on her, she looked as though she was getting weaker and weaker, and I really couldn't understand why she was fully hydrated she had yeah she she was fine. I know she hadn't eaten for a while, but um that's typical of that species. I just could not work out what the problem was and yeah, I came in a couple of days later to find that she had died. Absolutely gutted. But you can never tell with these guys what's going on. Um, what else? I think you know Sid Vicious, the OBT, died. He was a m mature male. Um, I think that was it. That had died from my tarantulas. And... Uh, my praying mantis, the one that I got in from Holland, had died. It, annoyingly, it had molted. It would molted into a mature male. And I think it must have fell whilst it was molting. And when I come in, it had broken its two front legs. And it was just hobbling around and it was not well at all. And um, it's nice new wings were all crumpled up and broken. So yeah, I think it had fallen whilst molting and had damaged itself. So I did the humane thing and put him down. Um, yeah, two more mantises. Or was it one mantis had died? One mantis, I think. And what I thought was actually a breeding pair or was told was a breeding pair or could have been a breeding pair that was told that they were male and female actually turned out to be two mature males so there will be no breeding from them unfortunately never mind 
um, I don't have my um, uh, pythons anymore. Um, they've gone to another home. Um, I've, I've still kept Tinker, the um, corn snake, but the, the raw pythons, I decided they would be better off with someone who was more into the whole snake thing rather than me. So um, they've gone to good homes. And yeah, I think that was that for that update. Don't think anything else has happened. There's been quite a lot of molts, loads and loads of molts. It, it's just gone crazy. So I, th I think with a combination of, of the heat, because it got so hot in this room, I could not cool it down during the hot times in summer. I think that was a combination of why some things died and why some molts have been very, very successful. Because um, there's been a few critters here that are uh, uh, rather bigger than what they were, so to speak. So uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Anyway, we'll move on to the next. This is my OBT. And I'm hoping to get this one on camera for you. We will see how it goes. I'm hoping it doesn't decide to do a runner. It's actually uh, off camera at the moment. The legs are actually here of the spider and I want it to be here. Might not be hungry right now. I think I'm actually tempting fate with this uh, lid open. After having a tarantula stuck on my head, um, having an OBT running around loose is not my idea of fun, to be honest. But for the sake of entertainment, I'm willing to leave this a few seconds to see if Mr. OBT comes out. But not out of the box. We don't want that now, do we, kids? No, we don't. Okay, that's long enough. On to the next. Okay, and this is my Brachypelma albopelosum, the Honduran curly hair. As you can see, this one has increased in size quite a lot since it was last on camera. I think it's gone through one or two molds. So, it's going to need a new home soon. Now oh, look at that. Straight for it. Happy dance. If you're wondering where the water container is, it is in there somewhere. It's just buried in amongst a load of dirt. This one has been doing its diggy diggy hole routine, so uh, yeah, I figured I'd let it be. Hey, I'm going to put the lid back on that one. And this is my Brachypelma uh, Honori, I keep forgetting to call it that. It's a Brachypelma smithy, we all know it's a smithy. And this was the very first one I ever got. This is about a year and six months old now from a very, very tiny sling. And it's still a tiny sling, but you can actually tell what it is now. So let's see whether... Nope. No, for some strange reason it still only likes to really eat. Oh god, well that's not what we want, is it? Come on, but go back. Go on. Stupid spider. Getting freaked out by a cricket. You're a mean spider. You're a mean spider. You shouldn't be scared of crickets now. Silly thing. Do 
me me anyway again as you can see it's done the whole diggy diggy hole routine and they're, they're all burying their water dishes we all know that they bury water dishes and I'm gonna actually retrieve that one because I can see it oh he's going on an explore again first time he's actually done that and decided to have a wander around the outside of his enclosure I won't get too worried yet And as this one's just a smithy, I'm not going to worry too much. But I will just tempt him to go back in there. Go on. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Where did the cricket go? Did it jump out? Okay. Well, I've either buried the cricket or it's jumped out and kind of gone walkies. I really don't know. I will look later for now. Let's just move on to the next. This is my Gramstola pulchra. And it molted, um, I think, a couple of weeks ago. So that's why it's all nice and shiny black. But as you can see, they don't grow very fast at all. I've had this one for over a year now so it, it's like watching paint dry oh he's interested let's see no no okay you'll come back to that later no doubt won't you yeah but a beautiful species but very slow growing so don't expect miracles to happen quick, because they won't. Anyway, let's move on. This is my other, um, uh, oh crikey. <laughs> Let me look at the label, Brachypelma albopilosum. God, I can't believe I forgot the name of that. Ugh. Anywho, my other, the albop. And as you can see, it has kind of kept in time with the growth of the other one. Still, they're slow growers. So don't expect miracles. But expect them to feed pretty well. Just like this one. Again, I'm going to have to change the enclosure soon. He's getting a bit too big for this one. He's kind of making lots of tunnels and holes and the earth is going right up to the lid in here, so uh, I'll get that sorted soon. And we'll move on to the next. Now what we have here in this beautiful webbing is my avicularia, no, oh god, stupid name changes, my Caribena versicolor. Again, we all know it's an avicularia, but we have to listen to the peeps that know what they're talking about, don't we? Normally this one makes a beeline straight for the exit and does a little run around the uh, enclosure, but let's see if we can make him just come up for some food. I don't know whether he will or not, but you can see him, he's right here. don't think he's going to come up, but while we're here, we will put some water in. Oh, there we go. Nope, he's not going to play today. Okay, we'll go on to the next. Okay, I'm really hoping this one comes out to play. This is my Salmopius Cambridgei. And I've had this one for over a year, along with another one I got as well. And I had them since they were extremely tiny spiderlings. And 
they have grown so fast. I, I can't believe it. They're, they're about an inch and a half leg span now. So I'm really hoping this one comes out. Oh, he's kind of moved somewhere. I'm not sure where. I don't think he will come out. They're quite reclusive. But the size of them is, is unbelievable. If you want a fast growing tarantula, a new wild species, then this is the one for you. It grows so fast, I can tell you. But believe me when I say they are very, very quick. Their tarantulas on speed. Oh, he's not going to come out. Maybe later. Here's my lovely Brachypelma vagans for you. This one molted recently as well. I would say probably about a month ago. And it didn't get much bigger, but I decided to rehouse it anyway. And we'll see how we get on. There we go. He's happy with that. Even doing a little happy dance for you guys. Oh wow, look at all that webbing he's creating. Or she. I'm guessing she. Okay, we'll let her dance the night away in peace, and we'll move on to the next. Now, oh, this is another little Brachypelma Hamori, by the name of Dwayne. And this one was given to me, to look after. And I think he's going to be happy with the cricket. Where did it go? There it is. <laughs> Whoa! Come back, Cricket. Cricket made a dive bomb for it here. I'm trying to catch it. There we go. Happy spider. And we'll go on to the next. And here we have an Aponopharma Simoni. It's the Costa Rican zebra leg. Let's 
see if I can get that without bothering him too much. Let go, dude. Let go. Thank you. He's happy with his locust. We shall move on to the next. This is the Epiphobus Rataman. I never know whether I'm pronouncing that right. I am probably not, so excuse my pronunciation. I know it's um, an emerald skeleton tarantula. And this one scared the bejesus out of me last time because of how aggressive it had turned from being really placid. So there we go. He's now a happy spider again. Let me see if I can get that water dish out. There we go. Oh, just sprayed water and mud all over me. Lovely. I've rehoused him in this one. He was in another smaller tub before, but I thought, well, I'll put him in here and he seems a lot happier. He's webbed up a lot more than he has done previously. So I'm quite happy with that as a, is he or she. We'll move on to the next one. Another beautiful Brachypelma Homori. <coughs> yeah. We will uh, try and call it that. Let's see. Oh uh, no, let's try a locust. I have a box of locusts here and a box of crickets. And there is one, two, three big hoppers left. Oh, and they're really hopping here. Oh god, get back in the box, you little shit. Alright, let's see. Ooh, camera wrong angle, there we go. wondering what I'm doing in the background I record the dates when I feed these guys and what I fed them so I keep up to date with everything okay on to the next okay, this is a megapovema robustum who has got the boldest butt in the history of mankind God knows why, I don't know. Evidently a hair flicker. Let's see if we can tempt him with a cricket. Probably dropping it on his head was not the best idea for a nervous tarantula. But still, at least he knows it's there now. It reminds me, um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen a film called The Great Outdoors with John Candy in and, oh god, what's his name? I can't remember his name. It was another dude in the, in the original Ghostbusters. Uh, Dan Aykroyd, that's it. And um, they went out to um, 
like a vacation house out in the um, forest or something. And there was a legend of uh, a bear that had been shot in the ass and it had a bear ass. A bear ass. Yeah. <laughs> okay, just ignore me. I'm waffling. I talk shit a lot. Okay, I'm going to go on to the next. Forget that. This one is my lovely Nandrew Crematis, who I know is not going to eat on camera for you. She never does. And this is a confirmed she now, so, uh, no. She always does this. She gets really skittish. As you can see, she's really annoyed, so. Wow. It's a locust. There you go. Eat it. Well, I don't think she intentionally meant to eat it there, but she's grabbed hold of it anyway. She's just really, really angry. She does not like anything disturbing her, this one. So I tend to generally leave her alone a lot. Oh, do you see that? She's webbed up the locust. Wow. That's amazing. <laughs> wow. I'm actually tempted to try and grab that locust so it doesn't annoy her anymore. Wow, went straight for the tongs there. I'm going to actually incapacitate this locust and pop it back in so she can eat it later and that it's not going to annoy her as much. As you can see, the locust has calmed down a bit now. I'm going to pop the lid back on and let her get on with it. I'm going to do one more spider feeding for you tonight. How many locusts did I say I had left? One locust. So I'll do the rest another day. Uh, this is Doris. This is my Lassiodora Parahibana. Hello girl. To be honest, she is probably one of my favourites up there with Gracie, my Avicularia Avicularia. She is so sweet. Never had a threat pose off her, ever. And she's just really skittish, normally. She runs around the enclosure like a lunatic sometimes and hides in her little den, and that's about it. What a beauty. March 2016 and she has molted twice since I've had her. She molted on the 28th of April 2016 and the 20th of April 2017. So she, she's kind of got it timed to uh, near enough exact a year or ex exactly a year apart from when she molts. So let's see if she actually molts in April next year. That will be interesting if she does. I would say at the moment she's got maybe three and a half, four inch leg span. That's just a rough guess. She's got quite a way to go with the growth though, I know.
this one's still only a baby. Look at her with all that webbing she's laying at the moment, doing a little happy dance. Okay guys, well, I'm going to leave it at that for this evening. I need to go and edit this video and upload it and all that malarkey. So uh, I will be back again soon, I hope, with another feeding video. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Again, my apologies for such a long delay before. I'll try not to do it again. But um, yeah. If uh, there is a bit of a gap in between this one and the next one, I hope you understand. Like I say, I'm, I'm just knackered. So uh, I get home from work and all I want to do is sleep. So uh, yeah, anywho, all the best guys and I'll catch you again soon.